Welcome to Chandwell. My name is Michael and in this series we are following along as I build a large rambling low relief Victorian hotel for behind my station. In the last part I added some dormers and finishing touches to the part of the building that adjoins the station. In part 7 I add three more sections to almost complete half of the length of the back of the main building. Let's take a look then at part 7, windows and walls. These building parts are really basic, they're just three sided boxes really, and really straightforward to cut out. The time came to replace the blade in my large knife. I don't snap off new ones very often at all, probably less often than I should. I've been using the same old blade for the whole hotel up to now. I bought this box of 10 18mm blades for $3.99 including postage on eBay, with 6 snap off bits, that gives me 7 parts per blade. 70 parts for $3.99 makes it less than 6 pence a snap. I decided to have a bit of fun with the otherwise blank wall of the large flat roofed building. I used Inkscape to add a painted sign and I made it look as though parts of it had faded more than other parts. I needed to take care to position it properly on the base layer so that it lined up with the windows. I did this by scoring the edge and slipping that into alignment while the PVA was still wet. With the sides glued on I weighed the whole thing down with my tool tray. The second building overlapped the first and I pondered which one to build first. In the end, I opted for this hook arrangement which slots nicely into place. This is the lift shaft and protrudes from the main building with this interesting roof arrangement. I always test fit first. I think it will need a little notch to accommodate the roof overhang here. With those two sections constructed, I made the parts for the last section, a gabled building to sit on top of the flat roof pit. Making this was dead simple, just a couple of sides glued onto the face. I used offcuts to strengthen the join and I make sure that they are square using engineer's squares. I made a small building for the lift shaft roof to house the winding gear of the lift. A stack of card made the chimney. I backed this with another triangle to hold the roof. The roof itself is a small shape cut to match the slope of the roof behind it. it fit the first time. Whoops. It fit first time, with a little notch. I covered this with texture paper and made sure it was all glued tightly into place. Join the roofs properly. If you watched the last part of this series, I was unsure what to do with the roof in the corner of the layout. These two buildings should join at right angles, but the curved back seam prevents that. I decided to try to join it together. I used a strip of copier paper just glued across the gap. I applied the tiles right around the strip of paper. Although it looks weird from some angles, from others it looks much better than the unusual hole that was there at the start. From a distance, or from straight on, it looks like the roofs join properly. I'm glad I did it, and although not perfect, I think it's a big improvement. From where I sit and work all day, I think it looks spot on. I may still add a chimney just in front of it to mask its twist some more. This part of the build sees me complete 61 windows using the sticky label method. I made one window in two pieces which I glued separately to a window aperture. I added an off cut along the bottom to represent the lower window frame. From the printed side it looks just like an open window and is a nice little feature on this part of the hotel. My first bit of chocolate cake packaging has almost run out. Unfortunately I have several more pieces waiting to be used so it's not a good excuse to go and buy cake. PVA to glue the parts of the building together. I do my best to ensure that they go together square. I use bottles to hold the larger parts together. The lift shaft goes against the back building perfectly. The Chandwell cookery books always help adhesion. It's an easy job to drop the other components into place. The bases of the roofs drop on top. This component, once tiled, will go on top and will cover the gap at the base of the lift winding room. I finished this part of the build with cotton bud chimney pots, cereal packet chimney detail, cereal packet downspouts and some capping material. I've been working on the hotel now for 65 days and I've put in 85 and a quarter hours of effort. This part of the build used three A4 sticky labels, three sheets of photo paper, two A4 sheets of one millimetre card and one snap off from a blade. This took the total cost of the build to £5.88. Next, I'm onto the terrace and the retaining wall which will mean that these doors no longer float a few stories up in the air. So until then, thank you for watching 
stay safe, and I'll see you next time.